Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to your daily tea and tarot for Thursday, October 29th, 2020. Today is the day of Jupiter. Today is the day um, Jupiter is ruled by Thur Thor, which is the god of thunder, which is a fire element, which is all about good luck. It's all about fortune. It's all about um, optimistic and healing energy. So plan Jupiter is a huge planet, but, you know, it's a good day to reflect on what you've accomplished in life, not just this week. And it's a good day to showcase your gratitude. So happy Thursday. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. If you haven't done so, hit subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, um, leave a comment. Let me know that you stopped by. Um... Let's play some singing bowl. Let's get some let's get some some energy up up in here, okay? <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? I ain't gonna touch that one. But we gonna start. So I hope everyone's enjoying their week. Tomorrow is Friday. Saturday is Halloween. Um, tomorrow. I'm sorry. Yes, tomorrow is the first day of Dia de los Muertos, which is the day of the dead. And me and my kids will be celebrating tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday. So, but we're dressing up Saturday. All right, y'all. Let's see. Spirit, are there any messages for today? Thursday, October 29th, 2020. Do you have any messages for anyone? All right. Chariot over there, reverse. Chariot over there, reverse. All right. So, we got some fire energy with the king of um, wands. Then we have the chariot. Chariot is the cancer card, but in reverse, I feel like someone has no direction or doesn't know where they're going. Or don't know where they stand. Someone is withholding their feelings, their emotions. They're not sharing them. Spirit, any messages for today, October 29th, 2020? Someone is feeling lost or heartbroken. Yep, Queen of Wands. Definitely fire energy. Leo, Sag, Aries. And then we have Virgo energy with the Hermit card. Someone is. Someone needs to find the answers within themselves. Um... Definitely feeling like someone is looking for, someone feels hurt, someone feels heartbroken, okay? And also, someone could not be communicating with someone. That's also very possible with the Three of Swords. But more than anything, I feel hurt from this card. I feel pain. That's what I feel. Like, it's a heart on fire. <sighs> like, it's so, it's full of, like, like, it's burning for someone, but it hurts so bad. Anyway, and then we have the King of Wands, and then we have the Queen of Wands. Now, the King over here is very demanding, very aggressive, and very assertive, but in a good way. You know, he knows his, he knows his spot in, in the world, in society, within himself. He understands his capabilities. He's very um, confident in himself, you know? He's a leader. And then we have the Queen of Wands over here in reverse. She's not so sure of herself. You know, she's not very protective of her energy. She probably entertains things she shouldn't entertain, gets all riled up. You know, that's um, fire energy. Um, Leo Sag Aries. Again, 
sun, moon, rising, Venus, okay? I just feel like this could be one individual person who may have more masculine than feminine energy, okay? And with the chariot over here, I kind of feel like they're losing their confidence or they've lost their confidence. Especially with the queen of wands in reverse. Like someone has lost their confidence within themselves. And honestly, with the page of cups, this page of cups specifically, look at him drinking from his cup. He ain't sharing with her or him. She got a whole titty hanging out. You know what I'm saying? She's like, I still can't have nothing to drink. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, they not, he not sharing his feelings. No matter what you do, he's not going to tell you. Right? He's not going to share it. It's almost as if she's begging. And that's kind of where I'm getting here with the masculine energy is stronger than the feminine energy. You're not in a receiving mode. You know, if, if, this is with, if this is for a woman, you're not in a receiving mode. You're in a giving mode. You're not in your feminine essence, okay? So that's something that I feel should be addressed. And I know your heart hurts. I know you're real passionate about this. You know they got your whole heart on fire. But your confidence, you're losing it, okay? So a little insecure. Spirit, please clarify. Mm. Nine of Pentacles and the Queen and the um Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles reverse. Clarifying the chariot reverse. Spirit, one more card for that chariot. <sighs> Lover's card reverse. I'll show y'all again. Lover's card. Reverse. I feel like whoever this is for, they're not sure or confident about what's going on with whoever this page of cups is. And they need to spend more time focused on themselves. I do feel like with this king of pentacles, it could very well be a earth sign, especially because of the hermit card. It could be a Virgo, but also it is a earth card. It could be a Capricorn or Taurus, sun, moon, rising Venus. Okay. It's almost as if a bond is, 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 is weakening. It's almost as if a bond is not as strong as it used to be. Or this could be someone who is battling between their higher and lower selves. Or battling between their masculine and feminine energies. This is your higher and lower self, basically, in a sense, kind of. No, not really. Mm -hmm. This is more about balancing your dark and light, though. Not necessarily... In the sense of higher and lower, but in the sense of yin and yang, okay? This is about masculine and feminine energy. Someone could be having a really difficult time doing that. because they're And I, I feel like they're not investing in themselves. That's why. Hmm. That king of wands. I mean, that king of pentacles, though. Spirit, please clarify. Spirit, please clarify. The king of wands. Hmm. This king wants to build something. This king wants to collaborate with somebody. That's what the king wants. The king wants to collaborate with someone. They want to build. They want to work. Okay? They don't want to take the shine, but they do want to lead the group. They want things to, 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 to manifest. They want their dreams to come true. Something about fulfillment. Emotional fulfillment is involved. But they got a lot coming at them right now. It's a lot moving towards them. A lot of different things are changing right now for them. All at once, okay? All at one time. Coming real quickly. Spirit, please clarify the page of cups. Who isn't sharing their feelings? Mm-hmm. Someone is a pathological liar. Someone lies an awful lot. They're distracted and they're busy. Spirit, please clarify the page of cups. They're distracted. They're distracted. They're distracted. I'm sorry, they're not distracted. I can't get the word. Some, when I see multiple cards at one time, and I just start spitting them all out of my head. like. Doo -doo -doo -doo. But back to what I was saying. So they're not sharing their emotions. They're hiding them. Pathological liar. They're, they're, they're moving very strategically. This is why they're not telling you. You need to know that. They're investing in themselves an awful lot right now. I told you they're... I, I didn't mean they are not... They're distracted, but they're not distracting... They're not allowing anything to distract them, okay? Not even you. You're a little emotionally confused about it. Makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Because 
The situation is like one-sided. You keep giving and giving and giving. I told you, you need to be in a receiving. You're in a, you're in a giving place right now. Very masculine energy. You're not in a receiving place. You need to be in a receiving place. Get back to your femininity. Spirit, please clarify the three of swords. Spirit, please clarify the three of swords. Who is hurt? What hurts? Why are they hurt? What is this loss? What is this heartbreak about? Carrying too much weight. Carrying too many burdens on them. Somebody is tired. Tired of someone not sharing their feelings. Spirit, please clarify the three of swords. What does that mean, though? They're tired. What is going to happen? They're going to stop investing in it. So you're going to pull back. You need to. If they're not expressing their feelings and you will be hurting, Spirit, you'll get it back. See, that's the beauty about this right here. And I knew this. If you just lay low and don't pressure, don't push, be in that, in that receiving energy, like you need to be in an energy of you know, not chasing, but being chased, basically. That's what you need to be. Right now, you're making it too much of a problem. You're carrying it as a burden on your shoulders. They're not going to tell you how they feel. Remember, I told you over here, they're moving very strategically. They're not going to. Stop investing in it. Stop giving it your energy. And the moment you do, it's coming right back. I cannot tell a lie. My cards do not lie. Spirit, <laughs> Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands reverse. What is this Queen of Wands in reverse? Why is she in reverse? What is she doing wrong? Why is she in reverse, right? She's, she's making a lot of reckless um, decisions. And instead of her finding her answers within herself, she's just isolating herself. She's making it worse. Mm. No, she's in her feelings because they're isolating themselves. Let me clarify that. She's in her feelings because they are isolating themselves. They're not speak. They're not communicating. Like, they're not. They don't. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands. They don't want to really be bothered. Yeah, I told you. Communication. Spirit, please clarify the Queen of Wands. Reverse. They're not speaking. This is why you feel that way. Very conflicted about this new beginning. I think both of you are. And very hurt, too. I, I think that needs to be taken into consideration. The three of swords have already, has already come out twice in this reading. Someone has been very hurt. This is why they are very conflicted. This is why they're moving the way they're moving. This is why they're not expressing the way they feel. Because they've been hurt, too. I feel like you're not just the only one who's been hurt. They've been hurt as well. I told you. Reckless energy coming in, right? Someone bringing some very reckless behavior. Chaotic. Isolation. Someone's not speaking, not communicating. Keep it to themselves. Then we have the page of swords here. It's time for someone to speak their truth. And they know it. But they're very conflicted about it. With the five of wands. Very conflicted within themselves. And then ace of wands reverse. It's something delaying this. It's something delaying this new passionate beginning. It's something that's putting it to a halt or slowing it down. I'm not really too sure what that is. But hopefully with the modern witch tarot cards get an answer Please confirm the chariot reverse. What is this lover's card reverse about? Sorry, my race keeps hitting the table. The eight of pentacles. Get busy. <laughs> You're losing your confidence. Keep working on yourself. You can't sit here waiting or anticipating on something. You have to start working on yourself. It's important. Because you're losing your confidence because of this. Because of how they're moving. Because of their lack of response. Because of whatever it is. You're losing your confidence because of this. Spirit, please confirm the chariot. Reverse. That's your, that, this is your problem. You got a lot of masculine energy. A lot. Spirit, please confirm. Ooh. But then listen, right? 
I, I kind of get like this feeling that the more you invest in yourself, you're gonna get what you want. You're gonna get your you're gonna get your 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 masculine, um, your divine partner. But you gotta invest in yourself. You have to. You gotta get involved or start some kind of project or do something that keeps you occupied in your head or occupied in general. Too much masculine energy, okay? And that's you don't want to be that. You want that to come to you. You want this to you want this. Okay, you want someone who is confident in their masculinity, someone who can provide for you, someone who can protect you, someone who can make sure you're secure. You want that. Got to invest in yourself. It's time. Get busy. Get out your head and get into some 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 work. Spirit, please confirm. Oh yeah. They definitely coming. They would they 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 want to work. I feel like they want to work with you so they're coming towards you. Spirit, please confirm. Yeah, I told you. Six of pentacles reversed because you are in that. You're too, You're giving too much. Chasing. When you going to let yourself receive? You give too much. You need to receive. Stop giving so you can receive. Spirit, please confirm. The King of uh, King of Wands. Oh, I can't even talk. So you please confirm the King of Wands. New beginnings. These things I can't make up. A lot of Pentacles energy on here. Okay. A lot of Earth. There's a new beginning coming really fast, and I feel like you're not going to be prepared for it if you don't start working on yourself. Spirit, so please confirm the Page of Cups. There, please confirm the page of cups. Eight of cups. Reverse. <laughs> they're not sharing their feelings with you, but they're surely not ready to walk away. They're still confused. They're working on themselves. Moving very strategically, okay? Spirit, please confirm the page of cups. Why aren't they sharing their feelings? What are they doing, right? That's what we want to know. Why aren't they sharing their feelings? What are they doing? <laughs> trying to plan. Spirit, please confirm the page of cups. They're trying to plan this. They're trying to plan how to do this. And they don't know how to do it. Queen of Cups. Ooh. Water energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone could just be confused between you and someone else. Could be a water sign. Could be a water sign. That's why they ain't sharing their feelings. Because they are confused. They keep going back over the scenario trying to figure out what to do. Spirit, please confirm the three of swords. There goes that chariot. Listen, let me tell you something. You over here hurt losing your sense of security. Because they ain't expressing themselves. Carrying this baggage around with you. You're going to get whatever you lost, you're going to get back. Maybe It may not be that person. But whatever you lost emotionally, spiritually, you gonna get back. Own your power, okay? Spirit, please confirm the three of swords. Stop communicating. Don't talk to them. Don't text them. Don't message them. Don't email them. Don't do nothing. Nothing. Own your fucking power. I promise you. That's how it's gonna work out for you. You can't, you, you gotta stay in your own little lane. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, please confirm the queen of wands reverse. Spirit, please confirm the Queen of Wands. You're not investing in yourself. Isolation, not doing nothing. You're just isolating yourself. Just isolating yourself. Seven of Pentacles. You're not watering. Your, you're not watering the situation. I kind of feel like. <sighs> okay, Spirit, please confirm. Losing your confidence, Leo energy, right there. You're gonna lose this battle. It's going to be a long battle that you're going to lose. You know why you're going to lose this battle? You're going to lose this battle because you don't know how to shut up. You're going to lose this battle because you don't know how to how to be quiet and work on yourself. That's why you're going to lose the battle. It's really been an hour? You're going to lose the battle because you don't know how to work on yourself. You don't know how to be quiet. You don't know how to leave it alone. You don't know how to wait. You don't know how to be patient. 
know? You over there losing your confidence, trying to be worried or concerned about how this person is feeling and why they're not expressing it to you. And in the meantime, in between time, you losing it. Own your power. Stop it. Stop communicating. Stop chasing. Stop texting, calling, emailing. Stop it. Stop. Feminine energy. Feminine does not chase. It gets chased. Remember that. Spirit. Any oracle messages for today, October 29th, 2020? It's beautiful Thursday. Day of Jupiter. Any messages? Yes, we do. Creativity. Feminine energy. Period. Spirit, any messages? Divine timing. This is your this is this is something that you need to work on you so that the universe can divinely step in. Okay? Spirit, any oracle messages for today? Inner journey. You gotta work on yourself. Then I tell you, I told you that. Worry about yourself. And take your power back. Spirit, any oracle messages for today, October 29th, 2020? What we got over here honoring your energy protect it didn't i say that you are the feminine you get chased you don't call you don't text you don't reach out that's not what you do spirit any oracle messages for today integration i feel like that means you need to start integrating something into your life on a consistent basis to help you do this maybe meditation Maybe prayer, maybe yoga, maybe dancing, maybe skating, maybe hula hooping. Whatever it is, though, that's the only way to remove the conflict, to remove the insecurities, the uncertainties, is to focus on yourself. Like I said, you may not get this specific individual, but if you stay focused on yourself, you will get the right individual. That I promise you. That I promise you. And I know some of us don't want to hear that. Shit, I didn't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. But I'm going to listen. And I'm going to take heed to it. Because what I feel when I see this reading today, it just reminds me of who the fuck I am. <laughs> it really does. So I hope it reminds you too. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's Daily Tea and Tarot. If this reading has resonated with you, leave a comment. Let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the ring the bell. Hit the ring the bell for notifications. Um, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget, comment, comment, share, share. If you're looking to um, schedule a private, more personal, in-depth reading, or if you want to be a part of my shadow work class, which is absolutely free on Sundays via Zoom, or if you want to purchase a selenite crystal, email me, theblackcosmicoldrian at gmail.com, or message me on Facebook or Instagram. I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. If you want to join the Zoom meeting, you do have to reach out to me for the meeting ID and password. All right, y'all. Um, that's it. I'll catch you guys mañana with the Daily Tea and Tarot. And this weekend or Monday, I know I'm going to be late, but I'll be posting the monthly Zodiacs. It is what it is for November. Anyway, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all Thursday, um, day of Jupiter, and y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace, y'all. <laughs>